Hi, this is Lin Tian from UNC Chapel Hill. Today, I'm going to present our work on fluid registration between lung CT and stationary digital chest tomosynthesis images. The motivation behind this task is to utilize the spatial correspondences between the pre-surgery CT and the in-surgery SDCT. For example, we can guide the intervention of surgery by transforming the position of the needle in STCT coordinates to the CT coordinates. Lots of people might not be familiar with SDCT, so I will introduce this modality. The left picture is a SDCT prototype machine developed at UNC, and it is the machine we use to acquire our clinical data. In this prototype, we place the emitters evenly along a line, which is parallel to the detector. And each emitter will operate one after another. Thus, this modality can provide certain level of depth deformation along the z-axis comparing to one single X-ray image. In our registration setup, we acquired projections with scanning angle of around 11 degree. What makes this Registration task challenging is the bleed through effect in this modality. The left animation shows SDCT slices from anterior to posterior. If we zoom in, we can see that the metal in the upper shoulder at slice 34 looks sharper than the surrounding structures, which indicates that this metal physically located at this slice. However, we can also observe the metal in multiple slices, such as slice 8. This is what we call bleed-through effect. This effect is caused by the limited angle of projections available. The reconstruction algorithm does not have enough information along the AP direction, thus the structures blur in this direction. This effect makes the similarity measure unreliable because it might try to register to the wrong slices. When the similarity measure is not trustworthy, how can we find a reliable registration between CT and SDCT? So, if the similarity measure does not work well in the 3D space, how about the projection space? Will the similarity measure in the projection space more reliable? And how are we going to get the SDCT projections from a CT image? To answer the first question, we built a projection-based CT-SDCT registration framework. The inputs of this framework are a 3D CT and a set of SDCT projections. With the transformation parameter theta computed by the chosen registration model, we can then get the warped 3D volume. Since we want the similarity measure to compute in projection space, we need a SDCT digital reconstructed radiograph generator to compute the SDCT DRR of the warped volume. Then we can compute the similarity measure in the SDCT projection space. After this step, we will backpropagate the loss to the parameter of the chosen registration model. Since we implement our framework on top of the automatic differentiation library, the registration model functions as a plug-and-play module. It's easy to switch to various registration models such as iFine or LDDMM. Then the second question will be how can we compute the SDCT DRR of a CT image? Based on the principle of radiograph and the geometry of the SDCT machine, we implement the generator as an integral over the raycast lines from the emitters to the stationary detector plane. We discretize the detector plane into grids and shoot virtual rays from emitters to the grids. Meanwhile, we discretize the 3D volume into layers and compute the intersections between the virtual rays and the discretized layers. Then we calculate the attenuation coefficient at the intersections 
and the integral over the attenuation coefficient along each virtual rays to get the SDCT DRR of a 3D volume in log space. With such framework, we implement, we implement our energy function as shown here. The first term is a regularizer applied on the registration model parameter. And the second term here is the similarity measure which computes the differences between the SDCT DRR of the warped volume and the SDCT projections. Remember the registration framework? We can easily change it to a SDCT reconstruction algorithm by setting the 3D volume as the parameter. Then we can compute the differences between the DRR of the 3D volume and the SDCT projections. And then we can backpropagate the loss to the parameter. So the loss function we used in this reconstruction algorithm is shown here. The first term is used to encourage the SDCT DRR of the reconstructed volume to be the same as the SDCT projections. The second term penalizes the negative intensities in the reconstructed volume. And the last term advocates a reconstructed volume with low total variation. We run our reconstructive algorithm on the clinically acquired dataset, which contains three pairs of CT and STC and, and SDCT images with 31 SDCT projections. Here is the middle slice of the SDCT ground truth and the reconstructed volume for one data point. The reconstruction algorithm recovers the structures and have low mean squared errors. This is the experiment result of the CT to SDCT registration task. Since the clinically collected SDCT dataset do not have landmarks for quantitative evaluation, we use the LearLab dataset in this experiment. This dataset contains 10 pairs of inhale and exhale long CT images. We synthesize the SDCT projections and the SDCT from the exhale CT image. The mean initial distance between landmarks on these 10 pairs is 8.52 mm. We first run the FI and LDDMM registration on CT and SDCT. The result shows that the registration in 3D space pushes the landmarks further away from each other. Then we run our proposed framework. The FM registration in our framework brings the landmark distance from 8.52 mm to 4.19 mm. And the LDDMM in our framework brings the distance further down to 2.95 mm. To sum up, we demonstrated the feasibility of registration between CT and SDCT, and we proposed a recast SDCT DRR generator, which can be used as a plug-and-play module in registration framework and the SDCT reconstruction algorithm. Lastly, we proposed a projection-based CT-SDCT registration framework which works with various registration models. That's our work. Thanks for your attention. I will be at my poster session for any questions you have for the work. See you then.